folks this is sort of here from take yard and for a quite a long time we have been posting a lot of rom videos regarding redmi 3s prime and guys a lot of people has asked us that unlocking bootloader has been a pain in the ass for them and yes it's true that uh, unlocking bootloader previously in xiaomi uh, in previously in xiaomi phones uh, before redmi note 3 the phones that came uh, from xiaomi's uh, own warehouse were already unlocked by I mean, their bootloader was unlocked but from Redmi Note 3, they have done something new, which most of us don't like. Even I, I also don't like that feature. So we have to ask them for a permission and then they will give you a permission. You have to download the Mi Flash app and then you have to boot, unlock the bootloader. There is no other way. You have to do it. So guys, a lot of people have asked us that they can't unlock the bootloader and then furthermore, they can't boot their phone on the Redmi 3S. So guys, this is a tutorial I will be telling you. And I will also show you uh, because we did that process and it happened uh, without any issue. So I will tell you the process one by one. So make sure you watch this video till the end. If you don't have that kind of patience, so you can leave it right at the moment because if you miss one step, you can't do it anymore. So guys, the very first step, uh, the very the most important thing is that use a beta ROM. Regardless whether you are using a Mi a Redmi Note 3 or a Redmi 3S or 3S Prime, we don't care. But but you need to have a beta ROM. Why beta ROM? It's because the stable ROMs are not actually made for development. When a beta ROM comes, developers, I mean the developers at Xiaomi, they are actually waiting for their bugs. They are waiting for the bug report. So they actually, the ROMs are actually basically made for more development. So when you are using a beta ROM, the chances are very better that you can unlock a bootloader in an easy way. In stable ROM, even me and Pratik faced issues while we were using stable ROM. So make sure you download a beta ROM of your phone. When you have unlock, when you have the new beta ROM installed, make sure you have enabled the developer mode. It's the most important thing that we have to enable the developer mode. And after developer mode is enabled, you have to go to the developer option. And when you go to the developer option, make sure you enable OEM unlocking. And then comes the uh, the Android debugging. OEM unlocking is a must thing to unlock or to enable and then comes the boot Android debugging. Make sure you do these two things are actually enabled. Now coming to this next step guys, make sure your ADB in your PC, you do need a PC. Without PC, if you don't have a PC, stop watching this video. You must have a PC and make sure ADB is properly set up in your PC. If you don't have a proper setup for ADB, there are two things that you can do. There are two things basically. One is that you download the 15 second ADB installer. The link will be in the description. And there is another thing that makes sure you use the PDA net. Once ADB is installed, make, you just uh, plug your phone uh, in a normal mode and then type ADB, uh, type in your command from like ADB devices. And if it shows a device, make sure your ADB is properly set up. So ADB is a must. Without ADB, it won't work. Now, now guys, coming to my fourth point. Well, there is another, another furthermore thing that I would like to tell you that is uh, before the fourth point. Well, guys, uh, go to your Mi account app in your uh, phone and then guys uh, do actually you have to uh, log into your Mi account. And then in the when you are logged into your Mi account in your phone, then you have to verify your mobile number. And there is also an option of divine device location finder. Make sure you enable it. Device location finder must be enabled without it. Unlocking bootloader is a bit of an issue and guys uh, now coming to my part uh, number four Well guys uh, download the MiFash unlocker and if you have a permission make sure you do have a permission without permission Don't go and unlock that and then try to unlock the bootloader Well, if you don't have a permission the link will be in the description to write to them why you need a permission and do give them proper reasons don't uh, write down utter bullshits they they will not give you the permission just go to that web page and write to them why do you need the permission and make sure you are, you are logged into your me account you must have a me account without me account you can't do it go to your pc logged into your me account and then give them a reason why you, you need to actually unlock the bootloader and make sure the same me account is logged into your device so one me account is for everything so once you are done when they have given you the permission it basically takes seven to ten days when uh, they have given you the permission using that me account app i'm again telling you using that me account app, me account you can unlock any phone from this moment on i mean we have pratik have the me uh, permission so pratik can unlock any device using the using that me account so pratik has to uh, you know log into the me account of 
of that particular Mi account in every device he buy from Xiaomi. So that's all. Now coming to my number five. Well, guys, it's pretty easy. Well, it takes around seven to ten days to the, for the permission to come, and once you have it, you're good to go. Just open, just uh, you know, plug your phone and go to the recovery mode. First, you have to go to the recovery mode. It's nothing bit serious. We have to press the volume down and the power key at the same time. Once you do that, you go you are into recovery mode. Plug your PC with the phone and make sure you already have it enabled. So once you are in the recovery mode and the phone is actually uh, connected, do open the Mi Unlocker app. When you the Mi when you open the Mi Unlocker app in your PC and just uh, uh, click on unlock the bootloader, you click on there. And it will happen soon and most of the people who are facing 50% issue we actually faced 50% issue while we were in MIUI 7 we then installed the MIUI 8 beta and it worked pretty fine without any issues so that's why I actually tell you to install the beta ROM and guys uh, you know what to do after that you unlock the bootloader you are good to go with uh, installing custom recovery you know all those things and those video actually our routing video will be in the description make sure you check that out as well then you can easily root the phone and you can easily use your phone forever without any hassle and guys there are a few warnings that i would like to tell you the very first thing is that if your me sometimes it happened to us when your me account is not recognized make sure one thing that you completely you are your me account is logged into your mobile phone i mean whatever phone you're using and then you try to uh, log into your me account app i mean me flash app so basically sometimes happens that the account on your computer i mean on the mi flash app is not recognized nothing to worry about just reset your phone i mean factory reset your phone then log into your mi account uh, mi account from the phone and then go do the same from your mi uh, mi unlocker app it will happen don't worry we, it happened to us and we solved it in this way now the second thing well guys most of you will be gonna do this trick without taking their permission if you do if you if you do this it won't happen i'm telling you without permission you just can't do anything and one more thing guys there is a disclaimer at the end of this video we should have put in the first if anything happens to your device we're not responsible i just told you what we did with our redmi 3s prime and it worked it might be the same for you and might not be the same for you at the end of everything it's your device your choice your decision we are not responsible in any way but I can assure that it happened with us. We did the same procedure like I told you and it worked. So this is all for today. Do share with your friends who are stuck at 50% with their unlocking features. I mean with their unlocking dreams. And do give us a like. It does help. Give us a dislike if you think that we still suck. And if you want to know more about uh, Redmi 3S Prime, Redmi Note 3 maybe, do subscribe to our channel. And one more thing we are importing the redmi 4 yes we are importing the redmi 4 from china so we will get the phone within five to six days or even three to four review will be coming soon so don't worry and we are buying the global edition the 625 edition the snapdragon 625 edition so guys this is all for today hope you enjoyed this video again do subscribe to our channel share with your friends till then bye people have a great day bye bye now